Don, you have to be impressed with this man, Roberto Duran, moving up from the lightweights to the welterweights, acquitting himself not only quite well, but easily winning the round over Carlos Palomino. Give round one to Roberto Duran. Well, coming up on Home Box Office, starting Sunday, July 8th, a world television premiere, the C7. Palomino is 29. He's 5 feet 9. Former welterweight champion Palomino, former lightweight champion Duran, round two. The first round went about as we expected. Palomino did start slowly. Duran did try to get to him. Duran is trying to end it quickly, and the test is, will he get discouraged if Palomino takes his best shots as he did in round one? Palomino won't quit. One thing that should be pointed out is that Duran is a, a very resourceful fighter now. He's not the wild kid that he was five and six years ago. Uh, You're absolutely he right. He doesn't there. expose his chin needlessly. No, and he's doing a lot of fainting in this fight. A little wild he's over the head. Carlos anticipated. His hands look quicker, Neil. Yep. really hasn't opened up because he has not had a chance. Duran has taken the play away from him all the way. He has Palomino countering. Uh, he's been beating Palomino to the punch, and then Palomino has been looking to counter inside, tie him up. round is gone, and Dr. McCanty, one of our better officials, gets him apart. Carlos doesn't know quite what to do with him yet. Duran is dominating the fight so far. We're in round two. Scheduled for ten. Duran against the ropes, with honors about even on the inside. Now it's Duran taking the play away again. Palomino let go to, to unleash a barrage, but Duran beat him to the punch and beats him again. With left hook. The question is, will Duran punch himself out? stays on top, but takes a battering as the referee gets him apart. Palomino's in trouble. He's holding on, but he can't tie up Duran for too long. The bell. Sure, that a big round for Roberto Duran. You know, that ex Don, that exchange